A buffer allows you to connect two circuits together while also keeping them functionally isolated from each other. The buffer takes the signal from the output of the first circuit and presents a copy of it at the input of the next circuit. Anything can be done with this copy while the original signal won't be harmed in any way. To create a buffer, the signal is connected to the non-inverting input and the output is connected to the inverting input, creating a negative feedback. We know that when negative feedback is applied to an op-amp, the op-amp will do its very best to keep the inputs at the same voltage. So any voltage on the non-inverting input will appear on the inverting input. And because that pin is connected to the output, the output will also have the same signal. In other words, a buffer is an amplifier with a gain of 1. The input impedance of the non-inverting input is very big, or in other words, the input pin does not steal current from the circuit you attach it to leaving the signal from the previous circuitry unharmed. The output impedance of the op-amp is very low, so in other words, the circuitry at the output of the op-amp will get all its current from the op-amp, while also leaving the signal intact. This amount of amps is not infinite, it's usually limited by the op-amp itself, so it doesn't go up in flames. So what if you want to have a voltage reference set up by a voltage divider? The moment you start loading the reference voltage, it starts to decrease. But placing a buffer between the voltage divider and the load fixes this problem. Or what if you for example want to transport a weak signal over a long cable, for example an electric guitar signal. All the parasitic resistance of the cable will load the signal, and the signal will lose its quality. When a buffer is applied, the signal will be stronger and won't be as much affected by the cable anymore. Or what if you have two passive filters you want to connect to each other? If you directly connect them, the second filter circuit will load the first one. This will lead to a shift in the calculated cutoff frequency. The resulting filter response will be totally wrong. Putting a buffer between the two filters will maintain both cutoff frequencies. For further reference, check out my video on input and output impedance and why it matters and take a look at my op-amp playlist with various videos about how op-amps work and how to use them. I also noted some subjects here you could look up to learn more. Please leave a like and subscribe to support me and more videos will come very soon.